Hi everybody and welcome back to Cook and Share. Today in this episode we're making up a healthy bean burrito. As you probably know there are many different types of fillings you can put in burritos but this one contains no meat but is nevertheless fast and delicious. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do to get started here is add the refried beans to a preheated pan. You can pick these up in just about any grocery store. We're going to add some chili powder here. And I'm going to stir it continuously over medium heat for, oh I'd say three to four minutes, just until it's hot. Now that the refried beans are hot, I'm just going to set this aside. So what I've got here is a pan preheated over medium heat. What I'm going to do is place my flour tortilla in and I'm going to heat this for about a minute on each side. Now this is about a 9 inch tortilla and you can pick these up in just about any grocery store or you can make them from scratch and of course I'll put a link below. Now that my tortilla is heated up I'm just going to remove it from the pan and set it aside on a plate. The first step in building our burrito is to place the refried beans onto the center of the tortilla and spread it out just so it's about an inch and a half away from the edge. Followed by the iceberg lettuce, the diced tomatoes, onions, the black olives, some jalapeno peppers, a nice layer of salsa. Now this is just medium salsa. You can use hot or even mild for that matter. The sour cream. And last but not least, the grated cheddar cheese. Now I should add at this point in time, don't fill the burrito too full or you're going to have a difficult time rolling it. So to roll this, I'm going to bring one edge up over the toppings and tuck it under just so it's nice and tight. And continue rolling it till it's just about to the end. Now what I'm going to do is take some sour cream and spread it over the end just to seal it up. Next I'm going to tuck in the ends. Now you don't have to do this but it just makes a really nice presentation. Lastly I'm going to cut the burrito diagonally and you're ready to serve. And there you have it, our bean burrito served up with some salsa and sour cream on the side. A great no meat burrito. So those were our bean burritos. Believe me, these are delicious. Stay tuned because in the near future we're going to be making up another type of burrito. Head on over to cookandshare.com for more easy recipes and remember to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.